How's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. Today I'm doing a collab with a whole bunch of other ladies here on YouTube and the collab is my top five red lipsticks. So if you guys want to stick around and see what my top five are, keep on watching. Okay, so uh, Bridget, keeping it simple with Bridget, had approached me about doing this collab, sharing our top uh, five red lipsticks. I met Bridget through the MAB group uh, when I would collab with them and get together and everything. So I've known Bridget for quite some time now. There will be uh, links down below to all the ladies' videos, I believe, from what I understand. I don't think there's one link. I think it's going to be all links to all the ladies down below. Bridget and the rest of them will be down below. So if you guys want to check them out, show them some love, subscribe, uh, see what colors they're going to be sharing in their top five red lipsticks. And she wanted to share different uh, shades of red on different sh skin tones so that you can kind of get an idea. Because red is a big challenge, I kind of feel, sometimes trying to find the right one that works good for your skin tone. I know I was there because I never even wanted to wear red lipstick. For the main fact, I would purchased one long ago from Avon, and when I put it on my lips, it was horrible horrid. I didn't like it. You know, I was like, oh my, you know, it just, it looked horrible on me. I wasn't f finding it flattering. And I would have people tell me all the time, you know, like, oh, red would look so good on you. You know, you should wear red. You know, I just never, I always shied away from it. Funny enough, I get in my forties and here I am expanding the red. But back in the day, no, I didn't even want anything to do with red colors. I think red, I think everybody needs to have some form of a red color because it is that color that makes your, uh, you know, your face light up a little bit more. It is more, you know, sexy and, you know, makes you look more, I, I don't know. It's just that color that really sets off the whole look for you sometimes. In the process of me trying to learn what red shades work for me, it was, as always, as always, my favorite makeup artist, Mally Beauty. And she actually had a process where she had red lipsticks. She had three of them. It was like cool, medium, and dark. And each one, you know, like the medium one could work for anybody is how she worded it. The cool one worked for more light skin tones. And then the darker one, that intrigued me. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and start getting some reds. And through that, she explained, you know, how you can figure out what works good for you, which red works good for you. Because I know it's a challenge for me being more light. I'm fair to light. That's usually like the foundations I have to go for. And it's like my skin tone is more fair to light. So if you are somebody with fair to maybe light skin tone, a lot of these colors probably will work good for you too. You know, this is what I've learned from Mally, uh, your veins that you have along in your wrist. She had said like, if you have green, like more of a green tinge to your veins, you do have more of the yellow undertones. Therefore, reds that have, um, that's a more deeper, darker red, uh, that maybe have some orange tinge into it and those kind of colors, like in, an orange in the red, those can a lot of times be what's best for you. And if you have blue to your veins, the blue, you're more in the pink tones, uh, which she always says like a blue based red. So I've always prone and gone towards the ones that seem more of a blue, as they call it, blue based red. So a cool tone red, blue based red. These are my five that I would pretty much gravitate to and I find they are very flattering to my complexion, which one I'm wearing right now is from <laughs> Crazy Enough Mally, obviously, and it's in the shade called Crimson. I like it because it does look, you know, good on my complexion. It does brighten me up a little bit more and I just 
find that this shade does work really great for my skin tone. I don't know if you can get these shades. Sadly, some of the ones I have, I don't know if you can get them all because uh, some of them might be discontinued or something like that. So I guess I need to venture out and get some other reds from other companies, but these are the ones I have. You know, it, it, to me, it looks like a perfect red, put it that way, like a solid red. That to me is just total solid red. So I don't really see the blue based red in this one here. It's always worked good for me. So that's what I have on my lips right now. And it does, it looks really pretty. Okay, this is more in the drugstore category and it is the uh, Maybelline Color Whispers. I don't even know, can you get these? See, that's what I'm saying. I don't know if you can get these or not. If you're somebody that's a little afraid to step out and wear a color like what I have on right now, but you do want to get a red or something that will give you that coloring. Uh, this one here is an 85 called Berry, Berry Ready. And this is a really pretty color. And I think this, now this one does have more of the blue, like more of that lighter color, like a blue based as the berry, like a berry red. That is a very flattering color on my lips. I think that will do good for anybody with the light to, uh, fair to light skin tone. And again, I'm not sure if they still have these, but this one here would be really good for that person. You don't have to build it up that strong. You could just dab it along on your lips and give you a nice reddish tinge to your lips. So yeah, that's Berry Ready. I hope they have some of them because these are really nice. I have liked the Color Whispers because the pigmentation has been always there, but yet they gave a gloss to it and they're, they're just, they were always really nice. So Bite Beauty. I actually got this in a kit. I don't even know what kit it was now. I know I got it in a kit because it's a smaller, as you can see, smaller size here. And this one is in, I think it's in the shade, I think you pronounce it Meritage. M-E-R-I-T-A-G-E -E or something like that. It's one of the pencils. I always like these pencils like that because with a red lip, you really do need a liner, like a nice red lip liner when you're putting a red lipstick on. This I like, like these pencils, because to me it's a lip liner and, you know, coloring in all in one, like it's just an all in one thing. So I think that's how you say it, Mer Meritage, Meritage maybe or something. And it's another one that just the color is a different, a, l a little more different red than that. It's almost like a red brown color a little bit because as you can see they're all three different reds and this one looks really good on me too it doesn't go on bright or red. it gives more neutral red it gives a more neutrally red color and as you can see it does have more gloss i don't i don't really have any matte that i see here i don't really have a matte red lipstick but you know me, I'm not really big on matte lipsticks too much. Um, if I do wear a matte lipstick, sometimes I do feel like I need to put like some kind of lip balm to kind of condition it a little bit more or something. Yeah, that's by Beauty Meritage. I think that's how you say it, Meritage or something. Let's go ahead and share another drugstore. Now, this is one of my Rimmel lipsticks and Rimmel is a really, really good drugstore lip line. This one's in 09 they just put numbers on them sadly they don't put like shades or anything like that and here it is here this is the 09 color in rimmel now, this is my definite full on that's full on blue based red so if you want to get more of a blue based red and in drugstore 09 from rimmel is really the one to go they're great lipsticks I do prone more to more blue-based red though, to be honest. I, now this is my most favorite red lipstick right now of all, uh, seriously. And it's actually from the company called Motives. And I'm sure you guys have heard about Motives. I personally really like some of their products. I've tried their eyeshadows and blushes and everything. And this is my favorite red. This is called Ruby. So. I hope they still have these. These are from their cream lines or something like a cream lipstick, cream 
cream line, but look for the color uh, ruby from Motos. If, here it is here. But yeah, as you can see, I use it a lot. There it is right there. And it's very close to the Rimmel one. You can see. Let's see. For me, this is a little bit lighter than the Rimmel one. Get it 09 from Rimmel. I've kind of not shown it enough love, so I think I do need to give it that love. So, all right, beauties, I hope that helps. I hope I gave a good enough information of, you know, because you know I am fair to light skin tone, and that kind of gives you an idea. But always, you know, if you're in doubt, um, maybe try the method that Mally had mentioned. If you do see your veins more of a blue tinge, uh, to them, go for the more reds that have a more blue-based uh, tone to them. You might be able to Google it and it might come up with blue-based reds. Uh, you'll, you'll get to know it, um, the blue-based red, because it is more berry-looking. It doesn't look like straight-up red. Uh, you'll you'll, you'll kind of get familiar with it. If you need help, like maybe in a Sephora or something like that, they might be able to help you too. But you'll, you'll recognize it. Because at first for me, the same thing. I was like, huh? You know, but you, you'll get used to it once you understand it. If you have the green, you can, you know, wear other kind of uh, more darker reds. Myself, I did wear an orange lipstick not long ago. It's like an orangey red that you all know I wore from CoverGirl. And it did look good on me. It, it didn't look bad, but I was a little bit afraid because orange colors don't really flatter me, I feel, as much. I feel like straight up red, like when I'm wearing crimson, would work for anybody. I just feel like this red will work for anybody, no matter uh, what skin, t skin tone you have. Thank you, Bridget, so much for asking me to join in this collab. I almost ended up not being in the collab because it didn't work into uh, my scheduling. And then things progressed. And yeah, I got uh, lucky that the date it ended up being was I could... I could go ahead and join in the collab with all the rest of the lovely ladies. So I will have links down below to everybody. Go and check them out. I cannot wait to see what everybody else is going to be sharing and getting to meet, meet some more new, wonderful, beautiful uh, other women here and creative women here on YouTube. So I'm excited about that as well. So if you did find this video helpful and you did like it, give it a thumbs up. That helped me out so much and I very much appreciate that. Also, if you're not subscribed to my channel, you can come join me each week. Go ahead and click the subscribe button down below and also go ahead and hit the bell. The bell will notify you and let you know when my new videos will be uploaded. And as always, beauties, please remember to just be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you take care. I will see you then. Love you guys. Bye.